Alright, how's it going guys? Today, I am going to be doing a ultimate guide for Mowager Totem. Now what this ultimate guide is going to consist of is going to be the main easter egg and pretty much all of the side easter eggs that is on the map. I'm going to first start with the main easter egg and then I'm going to slowly work into all the smaller things. The reason I'm doing this is because most of the smaller stuff do require you to do some parts of the main easter egg so it'll just be easier to get that out of the way first just so you guys can figure everything out later. So what I found to be the best way to get through the map easily is to stay in the starting area until round 5 so all the zombies spawn in right away. After about round 5 or so, you will have enough points to get all the way to the power and be able to start doing everything you need to do in the map. So after about round 5, you should have enough points to be able to get all the way through the map and be able to get to power. Now for power, you need to get 2 fuses which are obtained from Tempest around the map. Now normally you would follow the away points and go straight to the power and you would blow the fuses but if you know where the tempest spawn you can actually go to them before you get to the power this is where the tempest is for me in my game okay so the tempest can either spawn here as soon as you act enter the electronics room is when he will spawn he can also spawn right here in the bar as soon as you walk foot in the bar and he can also spawn over here on the left side of the um of the berlin streets whatever you as soon as you walk out of the tunnel now, the second tempest will either spawn down here in the sewer over to the left the second location for the second Tempest is over here on the other side, right here in this corner. Once you get both of the fuses, you can go ahead into the power room and activate the power. First you swept the switch, then the fuses blow, you put in the fuses, and then you turn the power switch on again. So the next thing you want to do is go to the Pax Machine and go kill the first Disciple. So after you activate the Pack-a-Punch, you do want to put Brain Rot on your weapon. It doesn't really matter what weapon you have, but you do need Brain Rot for the, for the next step of the Easter Egg. Now, the first part of Odin Klaus is inside of this room over here in, a, in the Hotel Room 305. You do need Brain Rot on your weapon for this. So, we'll just get a few kills in here with your Brain Rot weapon. Hopefully, you turn a zombie. And once you do turn the zombie, he will tear down this door. This is the first part of Odin Klaus, or these hands right here on this dead zombie. Now, the second part of Odin Klaus is the battery. The way you get the battery is on round 10, a Panzer will spawn, and once you kill him, you will, the battery will drop. So for now, you kind of just have to sit here and wait around and go through some rounds to get to round 10 to be able to kill the Panzer. So while you are waiting for round 10 to go and get the Panzer, you can go through the death strip and look for the microwave dish in one of the dig sites. Luckily, I got it there on my first dig site, which normally doesn't really happen. Normally, I get them on the very last one. Alright, so once you get to round 10, the Panzer will spawn. On the first few rounds, he is pretty easy to kill. Especially the first one. They do get quite a bit harder about the Easter egg, but as you saw there, I picked up the battery. So after you get the hands and the battery to build Klaus, what you want to do is you want to come over here in the maintenance tunnel and come over to where Klaus is. Then you want to install his hands and the battery into Klaus, and this is how you activate Klaus. Now once you activate Klaus, the first thing you want to do is run over back to the sewer access. You want to come over here to this brick wall. You want to command Klaus with your tactical button to come in front of the wall. And once he comes here, he will go ahead and break down the wall, which is the next step of the Easter egg. Now for the next part of the Easter egg, you will need the Wonder Weapon. Now after Klaus breaks down the wall, you want to go ahead and get your Wonder Weapon. There are quite a few ways to get the Wonder Weapon. You either can do it from the Easter egg to get it for free. Or you can get it from Trials and or the box. Now once you get the Wonder Weapon, there are a few things you want to go around the map and shoot with the Wonder Weapon. The first thing is in spawn, there is a, an antenna that you shoot down and falls over and it drops this part right here. The next thing you need to shoot is inside the electronics store, there are these little radios that you can shoot. And this also drops another part. There's a radio here, a radio here, the last radio is right here. The third thing you want to shoot is coming down these stairs over here to the left. There's this green little box. You shoot it and it drops the third part. Now all these parts are to build the headgear for Klaus. We won't really need this until a little bit later on the Easter egg, but it is nice to go ahead and get it out of the way now. So after you get all the parts, you come over here to Klaus and you build the helm on Klaus. 
Now the next step is to acquire the laser beam variant of the Wonder Weapon by killing zombies with your Wonder Weapon. Once you acquire the laser beam, you want to come back over to the wall that you got Klaus to bring out earlier, and you want to shoot it into the wall to melt it. Now, once you break into this room, you need to go through a tormentor round so that these force fields go off of these two boxes here. Luckily, though, as soon as you come in here, it does end the round you are currently on and start a torment round, which makes it quite a bit faster. After you finish the torment around and the force woods go down, you want to come over to this area here and pick up these three canisters. You also want to come over to this box here and shoot it with your wonder weapon to get the end station lure trap. So once you get the lures, you want to run around the map and look for these boxes with these green lights on them. I'm now going to show you all the locations that these do spawn. One is right here by the electrical store, in between the bar and the electrical store. The second location is on top of the destroyed penthouse right under Quick Revive. The third location that it can spawn is in the alleyway right next to this dumpster. Another one can spawn up here on the top of the corporate rooftop right next to the water tower. The next location where one can spawn is right here on this corner near this little building right next to the stone to roll by. Another location is right here on the, against this wall, right under the electrical box to shoot for the part. And the last location where one can spawn is right over here where this light is on this wall. Now, once you find where yours are, you want to go ahead and throw down the end station lure trap that you found. And doing this will spawn in a, a few tempests. Make sure that you put in the canister before you kill the tempest. Now, in solo, after you kill three tempests, it fills up enough souls for you to be able to move the canister. In co-op, you do need to do this, but you do need two traps to kill six tempests to fill this up. Once you pick up the canister, you want to head back into the room where you picked it up in the secret lab. And then you want to place it back here. Now, during this step, there are a lot of manglers and tormentors that spawn that do make it quite a bit difficult, but it's not too bad. You do want to make sure you grab another trap so you can go ahead and finish the rest. And you want to rinse and repeat this step three times with all three of your stations. So once again, come over here, put the, put the canister into the machine, and then throw down your trap. Just a tip, while you do have a canister, your build up rate does change. So if you're having any issues doing this step while you are going through this, if you use the build up rate, it does a big wave blast that destroys any zombies in your way. So you do the same thing for a third time. Go ahead and kill the Tempest and charge up the canister. And just a tip, if you do come down here and there are no more traps coming out of this machine, you do need to progress through a round or two. Now after you bring all three of the filled canisters back to the machine, you need to make sure that your Klaus is upgraded to level 1 and you have the helm. I already showed you guys how to build the helm a little earlier, and all you need to do to upgrade Klaus to tier 1 is just to let him get some kills, which charges up his upgrade machine. So the upgrade machine is here in the garment factory right here. You want to, you want to put the microwave disc that you found earlier and place it into the machine. Now, to be able to activate the machine, Klaus does have to get about 20 or 30 kills or so. I'm not sure the exact number, but he just has to get a few kills for to upgrade the machine. Once the machine is ready to be activated and used, this, this light here will be green and you will hear an audio cue. Now, the easiest way to do this is to call in Klaus while you're doing the other steps and to let him get a few kills to activate the machine early so you're not stuck in this position that I am in now where you're waiting for him to be upgraded. And just a tip, if you do have to go a few rounds, if Klaus does run out, there is a radio right up here that you can recall him once he does recharge to make it a little bit easier. Now, once you activate the machine, you want to bring Klaus into the machine. 
Doing this will start a one minute defense round, which can be pretty difficult. They, a lot of disciples do spawn right here around the corner to the left, but you just want to sit here. And if you have the wonder weapon, which you obviously should by this step, it's pretty easy to defend. Now, once you finish the one minute defense, Klaus will be upgraded to tier one and he will have an upgraded weapon. Now, you can further upgrade Klaus, but for the Easter egg, you do not need to. Now, once you have Klaus upgraded to tier 1 and you have the helm on him, you want to go ahead and make sure he stands right here on the train track right here. You want to do it on the opposite side of Mule Kick. And once you do that, he kind of so he will sit in this position and be kind of an animation. And if you come over here to the control room, you can use the switch right here, which will activate the train to come into Klaus. He will stop the train and once he stops the train you want to come in here really fast and you want to grab the warhead and you make you want to make sure you grab the key card off of the zombie once you get the warhead you want to bring it back down here where you place the canisters and insert the warhead so the next step of the easter egg is you want to spawn in a megaton to do that you bring the key card to this terminal here and you want to go through quite a few of these steps you're going to read a couple of files that's not what you're really focusing on you just want to try to do this as fast as possible until you get to this part here where you activate the disruptor satellite once you activate the satellite a big beam will come out of the sky right next to the pack punch and this is where the megaton will spawn So this next step will activate a time sensitive area what you want to do is you want to pick up the uranium and come to this workbench here and craft it into a uranium crystal once you get the material you want to come over here on top of the corporate building to this zip line right here so with the uranium rice that you built you want to place it on this side of the zip line and then you want to go back where you killed the megaton and grab the second uranium and also craft it into a crystal and then bring it to the other side of the zip line. Also keep in mind while you are holding the uranium you do lose health. So if you do feel like you need to drop the, the shard to regain your health you could just drop it with C or up on the d-pad I'm pretty sure. Once you place in both of the uranium crystals on both sides of the zip line they will go into each other and make a big crash. Once that happens, you want to come back over here into the middle and pick up the cleansed rock. You want to bring this cleansed rock down to where you brought the warhead and the canisters. Also, keep in mind while you are doing this uranium step, there's a workbench over here right next to the trials machine. And there is also another one on the other side over by the electronic store. And this other little military tent is the other crafting bench. And also in these military tents where you build the uranium, there also are these computer terminals where you can activate the satellite from these remote distances. Keep in mind, you do have to activate the first one from the bottom floor where you build Klaus. But for the second one, you can do it from either one of these. Now the second one spawns right here above the spawn. And this is where you get the second Megaton. Now you want to rinse and repeat the same steps and build the radioactive material. Once you build them, you want to go back to the same zip line and put it on both sides again. Now the last thing you want to do is you want to grab the cleanse rock once again and bring it back down to where you brought the first one. Keep in mind with the second cleanse rock, once you place it into the warhead at the bottom of the war room, it will activate the boss fight. So you can drop it right here on the ground and you can go and make sure you're set up for the boss fight. Go ahead and get your perks, make sure you're pack a punch and everything before you do that. Because as soon as that uranium goes into the machine, the boss fight will start. Now for the boss fight, what I recommend you doing is getting the wonder weapon to pack a punch three and then buying a death machine from the crafting table. The death machine is really useful against Valentina and will make your life so much easier in this boss fight. 
So once you're ready, you want to go ahead and pick up the crystal and put it inside the warhead. This will start the boss fight. Now the strategy that I think is best to kill Valentina is you want to make sure you have Ring of Fire. And you want to activate the Ring of Fire here in the first phase as you go against her. Be careful of the zombies that attack you. And you just, they're not too powerful, but you just want to make sure that you do as much damage as you can to her in this first phase. She has quite a few different attacks. The first one is going to be she shoots you with yellow shards, which will destroy your armor. So be very cautious of that. These are the yellow shards. You want to make sure to dodge these as fast as possible. Going into this little corner here is the best way to avoid them that I found because she cannot see you. Once you do enough damage to her, she will move. And in this time, you can buy perks and upgrade your armor if you need to. And also, this is a great time to buy another death machine if you used your death machine before. So once you get to the second stage of the boss fight, you want to use your death machine while you recharge your ring of fire. Now also while you are in this stage of the boss fight, she does still have her ability with the yellow crystals or shards that destroy your armor. But she also has a new ability, which is like a blue force field. In this force field, you want to make sure you get rid of line of sight or she will down you instantly. The third thing that she can do is she can summon zombies around her, which will heal her. In between these phases you want to make sure that you buy another death machine what you want to, want to do is you want to keep alternating between your death machine and your ring of fire that's the best strategy that i found for the boss fight you can also rebuy armor between these phases so you just want to make sure that you stay equipped between these phases where you can buy your perks your armor and another death machine Now after you kill Valentina, you want to come over to her body here and you want to capture her. Now keep in mind that this is not the end of the easter egg. There is another little thing you have to do right at the end to finish it off completely. So the last thing you want to do is you want to protect Klaus while he walks into this, into the portal, into the Dark Aether with the Warhead. Now this isn't difficult at all by any means, but it is part of the easter egg and you can fail if you do not protect him getting into the portal and that is the main easter egg for the map the thing i'm going to show you how to do is how to get the free wonder weapon in this map so the first thing you need to do is after you build klaus you need to bring him over here to the slaughter with the zero above it once you command him to open up this locker right here, you will get this black light. With this black light, you can go to three locations around the map to get numbers to open up the safe in the room 305. In the garment factory, you will find the first set of numbers. One location could be right here on this window, which is where it is for me. Another location could be right here above the doorway. And the third and last location will be right here next to the staircase. The second number for the safe will be in this room right here in the service passage. The light will either be right here on this wall, up here on the ceiling, or right over here in this corner. The third and last number will be inside the grocery store. The three locations that it could be are right here above the door, right here in this shelf, and the last one will be right over here on this wall. Now after you get all three of your numbers, you want to go back into room 305 where you get the cloud sand and come over to the safe. While you are in this safe, zombies will not attack you, so you are free to enter the code as freely as you want. Once you put in all the correct numbers for the combination, you will get the Cerberus Wonder Weapon. The next easter egg I am going to show you is the Bunny Easter Egg. There are parts scattered all around the map that you have to find of the bunny. The first one is right here next to the Jug Machine. 
keep in mind you do not need to do these in a specific order and just a little quick tip if you ever forget how many bunny parts you have if you look out here outside of the map next where this purple sign is as you can see there is a orange light right there that orange light represents that we have one part and every time we find another part another light will light up on that building another part is right here in the alloy behind these tires as you can see there is now two lights on the building the third location is down here in the sewer access right here in this trash pile now you can see that there is three lights on the building another part is right here on this desk and hotel room 304 right down the way from 305 and now you can see there is now four lit up windows on this building the next part is in the grocery store right here on this counter right next to the ksp wall by there are now five lit up rooms on the building now the last and final part will be right up here on a shelf right next to the wonder fizz once you activate all six of these bunny parts it'll take you into the bunny room disco room once you are in the disco room there will be zombies all around the dance floor dancing to the music unfortunately i do have the music turned off right now so it is kind of silent in here Normally, once the beat drops in the music is when all the zombies will decide to attack you. Once this happens, you want to attack all the zombies and you have to do three waves of zombies. These zombies are not very hard at all. They are, even on higher rounds, they are pretty low tier zombies, which is pretty nice. After you finish all three waves of zombies, you will get a free max ammo. After you collect your free max ammo, you will wait for these walls to go down for you to go onto the stage. Once you go onto the stage, you can pick between doors 1, 2, and 3 for a prize. Normally, from my experience, this loot is pretty bad. As you can see, I got a purple KSP and salmon up, which I already have. Now, if you do get lucky enough to get the wonder weapon, you will get a calling card from this easter egg. After you finish the bunny easter egg and you get teleported away, that is not completely the end of the bunny easter egg after about 15 rounds go by since you activate the bunny easter egg you will be able to activate the bunny easter egg again and then get a second try at the game show now as you can see after you go through quite a few rounds the bunny will spawn back in this window seal you can shoot the bunny and you'll activate the bunny easter egg once again once you get back in here you can do the exact same thing you did the first time kill all the ribs of the zombies to be able to open up another door at the game show now from what i have heard i have heard that these zombies apparently are a little bit stronger than the first set but i mean to be honest this it isn't a very hard step to do so i don't think any of you guys would have much issues with it to begin with now as you can see just like the first time once you finish all three waves you do get another max ammo drop and then you can once again wait to go onto the stage to try to get more loot. As you can see here, I did actually manage to get the Cerberus. And I did get the calling card. So the next part of this video, I'm going to be showing you the music easter egg for the map. You're going to be looking around the map for three golden cassette tapes. The first one is right here in the electronic store on this shelf. The second one is going to be inside the garment factory on top of this mannequin right here. And the last spot of cassette tape will be in the blasted suite right up against this face. Unfortunately, I will not be able to play the music Easter egg song in this video because it is a copyrighted song and I don't really want to get copyright striked on YouTube. But you guys can listen to it in game once you activate the Easter egg. Now, the next thing that I'm going to show you requires you to have a tactical rifle and or a sniper rifle. I recommend buying the M16 off the wall down at the bottom of the tunnels. What you want to do is you want to come up here to the top of the spawn room and you want to come over here in this corner and look at this envelope. Once you activate the envelope, you're going to start a little sequence. You're going to want to, a target is going to spawn right here behind this sign. The second part is going to spawn right here behind this window. The third one is going to spawn in the Corber sign. The fourth part is going to spawn all the way back there at those windows, and the last one is going to spawn in the there doesn't sign right here. Once you activate all that, you will get a free Aether tool. Keep in mind that if you do fail this, you cannot redo this. This is a one-time thing, and if you fail it, you cannot redo it. So the next thing I want to show you is how to upgrade Klaus to Tier 2 and Tier 3. 
you go around the map, you will see these little electrical boxes. There are six of them around the map where you could possibly be. What you want to do is you want to get Klaus to punch it open by making him stand in front of it. There are two boxes that have Klaus's floppy disk in them. If you go up to the box with the black light, you will see this little green Klaus head. If you see the little green Klaus head next to your box, that means that's where the floppy disk is. So what you want to do is you want to command him to go in front of the box. Once he punches open the box, you're able to grab the floppy disk. I'm not going to show you where all these boxes are located. The first one is right here in the West Berlin Street right next to the Charles Machine. The second one is really close next to it, actually, right up here inside of the blast suite right here on this wall. The third location is right here, right next to Stamina, up right here on the wall. Fourth location is in spawn right here, right next to this bookshelf. The fifth location is here, which is also where my second one is. Unfortunately, Klaus has gone away, so I do have to wait until I can get that from him. And the last and final box is right outside where you build Klaus, right here on the wall. And once you hit your second floppy disk, you want to bring Klaus back to the upgrade station and the garment factory. Once you make it back to the garment factory, you want to put Klaus back into the machine. Once Klaus is in the machine, you go. You can go up to him and you can press F and you can activate his upgrade sequence. Now this one won't have a defense round like it was before whenever you first upgraded him. But he will just slowly sit in the machine and he will come back out as an emo Klaus. Doing this will also put his pack a punch weapon to tier 2. Now you can put him again for a third time and do another upgrade on him which will upgrade him to tier 3. Keep in mind there is a slight cooldown between when you can do it. You could put Klaus back in right away, but you do have to wait a, a tiny bit before you can do the third upgrade. Once Klaus gets his third upgrade, he changes into a punk rock version of himself, and he gets a tier 3 pack of punched weapon. And with that being said, that is my full Mauer Turner Easter Egg Guide. That is everything you can do in the map, all the Easter Eggs and all the side Easter Eggs. I appreciate everyone who's made it this far into the video. I'll see you guys next time.